I was looking suspiciously that way to see if the animals were coming up because I have this walked off in a way that they can knock it right over. <laughs> Here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging in my mule hugger shirt while coming at you with thoughts of the day covered in sweat. Okay, so the blacksmith left. And I have to tell you, uh, well, first of all, I casually ask him, because Stanley in January is due to get his teeth examined again because he had a wolf tooth pulled before we got him. Wolf tooth pulled! And, of course, I don't know an equine dentist. And I said, you know an equine dent? I barely got ist out of my mouth. And he whipped me a business card. I'm plugged in to charge. So that's why I'm kind of stuck in here, although I could unplug it now for a minute. Um, so he, you know, gave me that card. And we're going to call him in a couple months, like mid-November. We'll get another appointment. Uh, if needed, you know, or we probably will be by then, uh, just to see the progress or what's going on. And then we had a long talk about, you know, Stanley and the fact that he didn't get to do his back hooves and stuff, which didn't need done. It was just the fact that Stanley wasn't having any part of it, but I've already explained in previous videos. I'm unplugging. That, um, and the guy explained it to me very well, Daryl, uh, the next time he, that he arrives here, whatever, it's going to be better every time because, as I've mentioned before in my videos, mules and donkeys really have to get to know you. I mean, Dino and I were talking about how when he first got them, you couldn't approach at all. And then I went back in time on my video recently and discovered that I did not touch either donkey until June 28th, I think it was. So it's very slow. So, in other words, this gentleman pulls up. They'll know his truck every time, too. They're really smart. They memorize stuff a lot better than, say, a horse does. Although horses recognize cars and stuff, too. I don't want to take away from horses at all. I love them. I'm used to them. That's what I'm used to. I'm not used to mules and donkeys. Getting used to it, though. So, anyhow, he was just very reassuring and nice and calm. He was here about two and a half hours-ish. He charges 35 bucks to trim. I think that's excellent. It seems like that's what we paid back in the old days. And, like, I forget when we got rid of Chickasaw and Eve. Chickasaw was Joe the Pony's replacement pony. When I say replacement, I mean as a pasture mate for Eve. 2014, 13? No, Joe died in 13. I don't know, 2015 or something, ladies and gentlemen. I can't keep track. Um, so that's how long we've been out of the loop. But we went ahead and gave him $50 a, an animal this time. And he thought, he kept saying, it's too much money, it's too much money. We didn't think so. He came from Oil City, Oil City, and spent all that time, and you saw the danger. Of course, he, he said he's had way worse. It was no big deal. He's, like, really mellow and casual and kind of a delightful guy. It's good to have a blacksmith that's knowledgeable about your particular breed of animal or, in this case, kind, you know, the donkey and the mule. He, I believe he told me that his first client, his oldest client, is a mule. I forget her name. It's something really cute like Mabel or... Michelle, it's Michelle, because I said that's Dino's wife's name is Michelle. So, and that's how I remembered. But at any rate, um, yeah, but that's his, the client he's had the longest. He's a really interesting fellow. He also teaches people how to be firemen, I told you that, and women. Uh, and he's a paramedic and, you know, an interesting guy. So that's it. I'm, like, covered in sweat, as you can tell. I filled their water up and just sort of, I don't even know if you can see anything. But I did, by the way, I went and approached the animals after he left. I went up into the North 40. Hall was so glad to get out of here. I'm coming out my door. That's absolutely, I mean, that would just keep a draft horse out, wouldn't it? I'm sure. It's just for effect, and I can sit here where it's a uh, breeze. So, uh, yeah, I went up into the North 40 with them, and I took a carrot and divided it with them. And Stanley followed me. He was done with the carrot, but he followed me clear down here into the stall. And um, so I gave him a little treat, of course. And then he just casually walked back out with the herd. I think they're going to be okay. The donkeys will be a little traumatized for a bit. And he, um, Daryl explained that, well, probably both of them are going to have a little bit of loose stool for a few days to make sure they have plenty of nice water, which they do. And, um, in fact, I need to put this bucket where it goes. I don't know where the herd is, ladies and gentlemen, but I figured you saw enough of them at this point wasn't Haw something else. He is something else. I couldn't, you know, thank God Dino was here because Dino said he felt kind of weird because he felt like he wasn't helping out. I said, are you kidding me? I'm not strong enough to hold Haw. Um, I'm barely strong enough to hold he. That little donkey is strong. 
And Haw does this, I'm trying to get in this where you can see. Um, Haw does this rapid fire kicking, a boom, 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 where he was more like boom, boom, boom. It was unreal. It was like a piston or something. Yeah. Or like a machine gun, you know. Blah, 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 blah. I couldn't get over it, and this guy's just holding, and he's like, look, I've done donkeys before. He's talking to the donkey real casually, like you're not going to get one over on me and stuff. It was good. So uh, Stanley, you know, of course, was the best of the three, but he's had it done before. And uh, now his, he doesn't have any shoes on, thank God. His feet are good. All their feet, uh, they have good feet, all of them. And we just have to, you know, try to make sure they don't eat themselves into oblivion. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd come on here and kind of face-to-face with you rather than whipping up videos. It gets very warm in here. That's why I did this lovely. It looks like a, an aisle at the Crawford County Fair. You know how hanging outside the horse barns, you'll, there's chairs and stuff. I'm straightening up, so it could look better, but it doesn't look that great right now because I've been doing other things like helping to hold wild animals. Uh, and I cleaned the yard up because... Haw and Stanley both had a loose stool out there. He also said next time he comes, he's just going to go ahead and do them right here in the shelter. So that'll be good. Okay, I'm done over and out. Everything went okay. Thanks for your good vibes. It went as he expected it would, so it wasn't any big shock to him. And he really didn't want to take that extra money. But we just thought, my God. You know, and then next time we'll pay him what he asks unless something weird happens again. But, um... Yeah, I just thought that that was the right thing to do, damn it. Okay, I'm done. Over and out here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging with a halo behind me. Yay. Oh, with thoughts of the day. Oh, it's something like that. Coming at you with thoughts of the day, I don't remember. Uh, please drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues or donkeys or whatever. Um, leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for this. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. By the way, I cleaned my house some more some more and um it's ready to go like everything's in order when i get home joel's dinner's ready i missed a birthday party for the little grandchild that lives not far from oil city actually today because of this but it had to be done so it was done okay over and out bye